I'm here with Nico, star player of Mouse Sports. So uh, we're going to just talk to him about a few things heading into E-League. So I want to start with a tough question to start with. So if I say Nico is the best CSGO player in the world, what do you say? Maybe I wouldn't agree <laughs> because I didn't play the really important tournaments like ESL Pro League. I didn't play finals of major, semi-finals, something like that. So I cannot say for myself that I'm like the best player now in the world. I sure. need to prove myself even more. If you consider a year ago, you weren't even playing at a top team. You were like a substitute player. In, in, in the space of a year, all, these, all this attention around you, all these people watching, what, what do you think has changed in your game? What, what, was this who you always were going to be as a player? When I was substitute for mouse sports, I was just keep improving. I was keep improving my English because it wasn't that good. Like at the start when I joined them, my English was like, was really, really bad. That was like one of the problems maybe which I got uh, benched. But I was just keep improving. I played for Kingwin and some other teams to get better, trying to prove myself that I deserve to play in the mouse sports. So when I first saw you playing in the mouse sports lineup, I remember you had a very good Desert Eagle, you had good rifles, but now I see you opening sometimes. Do you think of yourself as a sniper as well now? Well, I like to play sniper and I like to play it in 1.6 as well. I think that my movement with Op is like pretty good and I like just to play it and take it when I can. You took over as the in-game leader briefly, and then you had different coaches doing it. What, what is Nico's role in mouse sports? How do, you, how do you describe it to people from the outside? I'm in-game leader, but I'm not like, we do this, you have to do that, you have to do that. I'm like, we play standard, you just do what you think it's like best to win the round. And like my role is just to make some pressure on the other side, to try to get some entry frag, to lurk if I can, just to make pressure that they're using all, all the utilities there, to throwing smokes, grenades, everything, and then we just group up and do something together. In mouse sports, you said you haven't made it past a certain level. Like you haven't gone deep in a major, you haven't won a big tournament. What's the time scale for when this should happen? You know, everyone can say like you're the best player or whatever, or your team's getting better, but you have to get to that level sooner. So wh when should it happen now? When is the point when Mansworth has to perform? I think that now with A-League and the Major, that I feel like that we have to go through the groups to advance to playoffs and see what we can do there. We did it in the Dreamhack Malmö where we like overcome our level. So I think that was really important for us, like just to go once through and then it's going to be much easier for the next tournament. So we didn't have many problems in the qualifier for Major, so I think it's a really good sign for that and we will see now what will happen in A-League.